Good afternoon, gentlemen. Sunday, November the 15th, Redline Nova update. I'm tired. The amount of time that it has taken to fabricate this hoop is absolutely remarkable. Um, I think I got probably eight hours into making just this one piece. So what I decided to do was to come down here and do a little surgery and basically pull out this lip and then this bottom portion that you see right here, only I, of course I did it right there, that way I could move my tubing further outward and it wouldn't stick so much inside the car. That of course meant doing a bend right here so that it, it's straight up and down right here in vertical and then it follows the door panel through here. You, you really can't hardly even see it, but there's also a gradual curve to that hoop across the top. I used my uh, Woodward Fab uh, tubing roller and basically just, uh, you know, I didn't want it straight across there. I wanted it to match the roof line of the car. And uh, my goodness, the amount of iterations on this thing has been absolutely remarkable. Um, you know, and I say iterations because like you would do this bend right here and figure out, okay, I need one degree or two degrees more or less. And it's just constantly trying to tweak that thing. And then you were adjusting the, the, the length of it overall. I can't believe it took eight hours to make nothing more than this hoop. I went ahead and fully welded it down here at the bottom uh, because I knew I was going to destroy my ability to weld the back side. So I figured, okay, I'll go ahead and weld it to this quarter inch plate that I made. And I've just got it tacked in place right now. So, you know, if I come to some sort of epiphany that I've done something wrong, it's pretty easy to pull out right now. But uh, anyways, that's what you got. I want to take just a quick second and address something else. I had a gentleman that contacted me that has been watching this build, and he was asking all kinds of questions about doing an endoskeleton in a car. And um, so best way to address this is in video. So I started off doing my endoskeleton to where I was welding up inside of the door jam here, as well as up in the door jam here. And I granted the, the quarter was on the car at the time. And what I realized in doing that is that's the wrong way to do it because, number one, if you have the endoskeleton mounted literally inside of the door jam, you can't put your door on the car. Not just that. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't do anything with the rear quarters on the car because you can't put the door on. So it's like your rear quarters are literally in limbo because you can't put the door on because you made your endoskeleton inside of the jam, right? So what I ended up doing this time was I just welded a couple of pieces to the inside of the rocker, did an X configuration going up there to there, basically did the same thing in the back, and then I did a little piece of tubing across the middle here connecting everything. And in retrospect, that was probably the much better way to do that. So learn from my mistakes. Don't put your endoskeleton in the damn door jam. Yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. You want to catch more of these build videos, click subscribe. Please click the thumbs up. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great Sunday. Take care.